Hey guys, welcome to Atari Series 7, and I'm reviewing this, which is the Marvel Legends Series SPDR Build-A-Figure Wave uh, Doc Ock. So this is pretty cool, we got a nice crew review and packaging, we have the Legends Series up here, Marvel Spider-Man Doc Ock, some pretty cool artwork on the side, we have Build-A-Figure SPDR, the spider symbol, and uh, you know, your basic stuff. On the back we have this really cool picture, a bio, and the other characters available. So yeah, uh, really blessed to find this day. I picked up the entire wave, but I was not able to find Doc Ock, so uh, you know, when it was originally released, so really happy to find him today and uh, be reviewing him. So yeah. Oh, here we have Doc Ock. And I want to point out that I think I have put his arms on right. I may not have. Uh, there's not really kind of like instructions. And you just kind of have to go through like what's on the box. So if it's not right, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the designs on his face. He's got the green and black glasses. I also like how they did his hair. Very much looks like his comic book counterpart. He has this like grin expression too. And you can also see they actually painted his eyes underneath the glasses. So that's a nice detail. Um, you can see he's got the yellow here kind of like almost gold looking and then he's got the green jumpsuit which is pretty neat old style doc ock pretty cool he's got the yellow on the belt and then he has these yellow gloves and uh, yellow boots and then this side too he has a fisted hand and a grip hand so you know pretty much kind of green and gold almost yellow uh pretty you know kind of pretty cool in terms of detail and um also like with his tentacles they all have like this blue light at the end of all of them not like a light but it's supposed to kind of be like a light it looks pretty neat they have some nice detailing you can see it's mostly kind of like silver with these little lines going through them and um they're not hinged but they actually design them to where they look like their hinges I kind of wish they had made these hinges I'm not gonna lie that would have been really cool but at the same time like it's nice that they added the little detail of them looking like their hinges even though they're not the longs are also uh, the longs the arms are also very long I'm not sure again if I have them on here right uh, I think I do but not 100% sure um, but yeah they just peg like back on in here and um, you can take them off or you know like put them in whatever you want to do pretty neat in terms of articulation he's got a 360 at the head he can look up and down you have a 360 at the arms they swing out at the shoulder 360 there double jointed elbow 360 at the wrist and it's on a hinge you have a 360 at the torso it's that weird kind of joint that kind of like allows him to move a little bit it is kind of stiff i'm assuming that's because of the arms Speaking of the arms, they can rotate about 360, um, but they can't move that well. You can bend them, but they're not really supposed to bend. And there's a 360 here. They're kind of like on a ball joint, so you can kind of move them a little bit. So that's pretty cool. The legs come forwards, backwards, and outwards. You have a 360 the thigh, double joint knees, 360 at the boot, and the feet kind of move side to side and go up and down. So pretty good in terms of articulation. Really happy to have Doc Ock in my collection. He's been uh, kind of one of the harder ones to find this year. I'd say him and Mysterio were probably the hardest two uh, for me to find this year. So really happy to get them and have him in my collection. Uh, but yeah, so if you're watching, please rate, like, and subscribe.